Hello again everyone, it's your favorite scruffy looking scoundrel, the crazy Karelian solo straight. Back again with another episode of Never Tell Me the Odds. What I want to do today is just a brief video, um, obviously with the uh, announcement of Raven's Claw coming to the game uh, as the Galactic Chase event. Uh, everyone's got speculations, everyone's got some theories and things like that going out about what this means for some ships, some fleet metas moving forward. So I just want to take time and give you a few ships that I could see them easily inputted into the game as a speculation for what the Profundity, yes, that's right, what the Profundity fleet might be looking like. Uh, so before we get into some of those details, I will ask that you take time to pause and like and or subscribe. All right, uh, so back to the topic. Uh, obviously, with the addition of Admiral Radis into the game uh, a little bit back, uh, everyone's first just go-to gut feeling at that point uh, is the profundity's got to be coming, right? I mean, the guy's got Admiral in his title. If you're an Admiral in the game, you have a capital ship, right? It just goes without saying. Uh, so the profundity's got to be coming, and what that means is we've got to look at this Rebel fleet and break it up. So let's go ahead and do a synopsis of what we've seen in the game thus far. Uh, so we got Dash Rindar's outrider in the game again he's not a rebel the ship is he's also a scoundrel uh, that's going to be kind of important when you look at uh, the new ship that got announced the raven claw because the raven's claw has anti-scoundrel rebel synergy so it's kind of a weird little mixed bag if you will with this rebel fleet the raven's claw specifically having synergy with home one uh, meaning that it's going to have to be with Home 1, so something's going to have to come out of the Home 1 fleet uh, to go to the Profundity. And if you look at the kit, it looks a lot like the Millennium Falcon. In fact, the anti-synergy kind of suggests you can't use Falcon with it. Same as with the Outrider uh, being Scoundrel in Rebel as well. So I don't see the Outrider being in the Home 1 fleet, so it must be in Profundity. It will be coming. Uh, you got your first two ships in the Outrider, in the Millennium Falcon, the Scoundrel Rebels, if you will. But, what ships might you get with it? Uh, so there's a lot of speculation out there. Uh, I want to go ahead and call out the worst kept secret in CG, and that would be the addition of the A-Wing. That's right, I think we'll be getting the A-Wing here soon coming up. Uh, could be a Conquest exclusive ship, uh, don't know. Of course, we're wrapping up the Malgus Conquest right now. We don't know what the next character is going to be or ship. Uh, but I feel like the A-Wing. And I say that because the A-Wing is an iconic ship to not be in the game already. Now, we do know that there was that, you know, coding leak, if you will, a little bit back uh, where it was appearing in every battle. So I just feel like, obviously, worst kept secret in the game. A-Wing's got to be coming. Uh, the hot fix that took it back out, you don't see it anymore, doesn't mean that they're not going to release it. So I feel like we're definitely be getting the A-Wing. And I want to talk a little, little bit of history about that, about why I feel like the profundity is where the A-Wing is going to be going and not to home one. Um, so the A-Wing was used primarily or very heavily early on in the Phoenix Squadron. Now the Phoenix Squadron, of course, is a call out to Star Wars Rebels. Um, most notably, we see in that squadron uh, being built by Wedge Antilles and his buddy, Derek Culliban. Now, Derek Kilden, you probably don't know that name, but I bet you know the name Hobby. That's right. Hobby was mo notoriously uh, quoted as saying, two rebel fighters against the Star Destroyer. Uh, also, sacrificing himself at Hoth. So there's my tie-in for you. I don't think we'll be getting the rebel Hobby in the game, just because there's so many rebels. Um, and what I think they'll do is they'll kind of, when they put the A-Wing in, if it has a pilot, I feel like they're going to do kind of like they did with Rose Tico piloting uh, the Resistance Bomber and just kind of, you know, latching onto a small little hook there. And so what I mean by that is Hobby sacrifices himself on Hoth. The A-Wing's probably going to be uh, piloted by Hoth Rebel Scout or Hoth Rebel Soldier. Uh, I could easily see them doing that in-game when they drop the A-Wing. So just want to kind of throw that out there. A-Wing's going to be definitely a ship coming. Um, now, another iconic rebel ship that we've seen throughout the lore that doesn't seem to be in the game, and it should be, 
is the B-Wing. That's right, the B-Wing. Now, if you look at the origins of the B-Wing, it actually starts in Star Wars Rebels as well. Say the B-Wing, we're talking about, yes, the B-Wing prototype that was built by Quarry, right? Probably not going to be what we get. And I say that because in the Star Wars Rebel lore, that was piloted by Hera uh, in the test running. It actually, Sabine Wren did the weapons and targeting system upgrades on it. So since there are the crew members of ships that exist in the game already, I don't think that they'll be using the uh, B6 blade wing, if you will, B wing uh, prototype, but rather a modified version of it. So when it comes to that, I really don't think there's much in terms of pilot that you could slot in there. I feel like that might actually be one of those just non-pilot ships. Uh, however, you never know with CG, but it's definitely an iconic ship. It's definitely big in the Star Wars lore and should be included in the game. That's going to bring me to the actual ship I most think we definitely need to be getting in the game and should be getting and will be getting. And that's going to be a tank, right? The profundity is going to need a tank. And what better tank than something actually tied to the profundity? That's right. I'm going to talk about the SW-0608 Imperial Cargo Shuttle. Now, how does an Imperial ship fit into this, right? How is an Imperial ship going to be under the profundity? Well, this is the exact Imperial ship that was stolen... That's right, stolen by Bodhi Rook. Twice. The man stole it twice. So, what I feel like is going to happen is we're finally going to get the pilot of Rogue One. I'm the pilot. He's finally going to get his own ship. We're finally going to see that in game. They're going to be putting the SW-0608 in the game. It's going to be the tank for the profundity. I'm calling it right now. Um, now, interesting little just fun fact, right? Uh, for those of you who didn't know... The screenwriter for Rogue One named the SW0608 after his son. Um, so his son's initials are SW, and the 0608, his son's birthday, so June 8th. Uh, so that's just kind of a fun little tidbit of lore there. So what that does is that gives you, when you count the Outrider and the Millennium Falcon, the A-Wing and the B-Wing, and now the SW0608, that gives you five ships. Not a full fleet, right, for the profundity. However, CG's got this thing where they just kind of like five ship fleets. Probably not going to happen with the profundity, although I do feel like number six uh, potentially would be in the game soon. And I say that because of our login calendars. The accelerated character Omega now, right, is part of the Bad Batch. That's right, I think we'll be getting the Bad Batch Marauder in game soon, light side ship. I don't know that they'll tie that to profundity. However, being a light side ship in the lore after Order 66 and everything going on, um, I could see how they shoehorn it in. It doesn't really make sense in terms of too much tie-in yet. We don't know with Bad Batch Season 2. Maybe they'll have some inner workings there. Maybe we see them in the Cassian Andor show coming up. Uh, but we have seen before where they kind of tweak lore a little bit. To get these ships in the game, of course, like I've already said, Dash Rendar, not a rebel, his ship's a rebel. Beskar Armor Mando, not a bounty hunter, his ship's a bounty hunter. So when it comes to the ships, I feel like sometimes they just, in order to check some boxes, they kind of bend some rules. Uh, so I could see how the Marauder could be there uh, when it comes to the game to help the Profundity Fleet. I don't know that it will be, but I do feel like we'll get the Marauder at some point, especially as Bad Patch Season 2 is just around the corner. So we'll be getting something there. But definitely, if I had to give my ultimate prediction right now for ships coming to the game to go with this Profundity fleet, obviously it's going to be Profundity capital ship that Admiral Radis is going to have. Then you're going to have the Outrider and the Millennium Falcon is going to be under that fleet. Then you're going to be getting the A-Wing, which is going to probably be Hoth Rebel Soldier or Hoth Rebel Scout. And then you're going to get the B-Wing, and of course... Brody Rook. Brody Rook's finally going to get his ship. He's going to actually serve under the Profundity command ship, as it was in the movie, if you were uh, answering to Admiral Raddus. So I do feel like those three are definitely coming with an outside uh, kind of stretch that we get Bad Batch Marauder. 
Uh, so I did want to kind of call that out there. Uh, this video was kind of suggested uh, through some comments on one of my last videos, or I'd been asked if I could give a speculation on a uh, upcoming fleet that might, you know, take down the executor. So I want to say to Profundity, everybody else is making a speculation about it. Some speculations coming up for the Profundity again: A Wing, B Wing, SW0608, Bad Batch Marauder. Uh, so I did want to call that out. Uh, again, short video, just speculations. That's what it's all about right now until Conquest starts up. And we'll be getting some more of that content out for you. So as always, this has been Never Tell Me The Odds. And I'll see you next time.